Happy Tuesday everybody. Woo! Pastor Mike, I'm ready for my audition for worship team. <laughs> anyway guys, welcome back to the City Lighters Bible Study. As we say, if it's Tuesday, then it's Bible study. I'm missing that statement, man. It's so happy to be back. Thank you for your Metukaribisha Vizuri Sana. We know our break was quite long, but here we are in a new season. And of course, let's first of all appreciate the set. It's looking so nice. Young priest and team, kudos. Good job. So now, uh, before I go any further, I've been forgetting to pray. So please, I'd like for Jerry to pray. And then I'll tell you what's up today. So Karibu, Jerry. Thank you so much. So let's pray. Father, we come before your presence this day. We want to thank you and exalt you for who you are, Lord. We want to ask you that as we go on with this study, Lord, that you're going to help us to be ministers of your word and that the people that are listening to us, oh God, that they are going to hear of you and know of you, oh God. We pray that as we evangelize that, Lord, your name shall be exalted and that your spirit shall be with us and shall guide us, Lord. So we pray this believing and trusting in your name. Amen. Amen. And now as it's customary. Najua. Unachujua lakini tupenda kujijulisha. Lakini wacha leo ni attempt kitu nilisoma mahali ya anti adjectives. Describe your I've been going to so many sessions with describe yourself with an adjective of your name so I want to throw that challenge to myself and introduce them with an adjectives that I have decided are theirs. So on my on my right hand is the Sase. Sheila. Okay, no. Okay, sorry. Her name is Sheila with a Y. Sheila. Sassy, sanctified. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, the Lord. Hiya. On my, 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 Uni, the queen of finesse. So to namuita finesia, finesse faith. Na kwa mbia para Instagram kuna maneno na fanya gaki akukubeki akeki na shoka na finesse. So finesse faith. Karibu. Okay. And for myself, I'll just be very simple and say I am the bubbly Becky. Please comment today with an adjective that is best describes your name as we delve into today's topic. So Adau, leo tutataka kuangelelea muziki. I know. What do you mean, Nico? First of all, what's on your playlist? Just tell us. As you type, I want them to tell me what is your current favorite song. Na tafadhali usiseme tu jina na title. Si utumbie kidogo tuone kama tunaweza kubaka. Jumii bado na my goal is to audition for worship team high pastor Mike. <laughs> so please Sheila, as I prepare my vocal drop, my vocal drop, my vocal cords. Jesus, what am I saying today? Oh, ni ni vile napenda mziki wa rai, wa rai. Sasha. So, um praise God, I am still born again. Very important. Um eh hey manze first of all I'm in the present worship so the things we don't do we don't do like favorites you know like this is like a song itakublesa hiyo alafu the moment imekublesa unakutana na nyingine inakublesa zaidi ya ile ilikublesa ya kwanza so we tend to not have like favorite it can be a favorite for the next two weeks after that it's going to change so for me right now uh it's a song by a gentleman who is a uh, an anointed man of God called Godwill Babete <laughs> and it's a song that is really uh naipenda sana manzi song ina ni blessing sana because it, we don't have many people who sing this this lyrics of these songs and it goes like uh kutenge kitarisha ah Lime inu lime inu liwane no lako kama vile jana lina nguvu leo na milele I think this song is a timeless song and I love it so much <laughs> No. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> Congregants have spoken. Lime inu lime inu liwane no lako kama vile jana lina nguvu leo na milele. current favorite song my current 
ask. It's actually been a favorite for a very long time. Mm-hmm. It's called Promises. Ah! <coughs> ah! You just start. You know the Lord requires you to be there. And, and this. But I'll sing the part that I love the most. Okay. And it's where it says, Faithful you are. Shukwa. Faithful forever. Faithful you are. Faithful forever. But only call. But don't you go in to conditions. The mic was in me. You see, you see, you see, you see. Thank you. They are getting what we are. This is where my career is being made. So thank you. Hi, Mushiri. Like any missing. She let him on your behalf. Watch out for him. But but I mean Maverick, I think. Isaiah song. I'm also into Casting Crowns. There's a song that, uh, that goes I'll praise you in this storm. I think in this storm. That one. <laughs> yeah, that one here. Na kuna ingine mnaimbanga nini sijui ni amasi na shukuru na shukuru kwa moyo eh yo yo ati itwaje maselina na shukuru yeah she's the idea nasema sante kwako maselina masia na shukuru lazima niweke vile unasema anga kwa moyo wangu wote nasema sante kwako masia na shukuru Ooh. Ooh. today i feel so Karibisha honored and blessed tafadhali niko pale oh hallelujah mimi sasa yangu because of where i come from sometimes you keep on like you do you see when you sometimes you sing in mother tongue you feel so mimi yangu ni asame irongo kiradhimo and it goes the chorus small kiradhimo yaku gai no agere Jera oyo de ageda kugera fata nego kinyere nani kene oe muromo wa gwaku todo na ihuru rege twara nyama retia hetagia jera that song really blesses me because the season I'm in ile are expecting the lord so sometimes i feel like i'm that prophet there when he's waiting for the ravens to come and feed them and this other singer says that god is so good that that means he's going to bring the thing to you those nini crows are greedy birds but they never used to eat the food that they have been sent to deliver to the prophet so music we can all agree is powerful and today we are discussing music the question was we had been asked is it bad for us a christian to listen to secular music so tukasema hey music wengine wetu tunasema anga wale wa you know being a christian yeah yeah music is music as long as the lyrics are not so bad those are the things you know many times we have told ourselves as long as it's speaking to me during this season doesn't matter the, the singer but it matters and that's why today we want to try attempt at sharing our experiences and together we are working with you in this journey whatever we say see at city at disability this is it azina maybe okay yangu iko na you know yeah it's a playlist so Sheila, what's on your playlist? Do you struggle with secular music? Do you do you even know me secular music? Well, um by the grace of God, honestly at this point I really I, I don't struggle with secular music, but I struggled with secular music. Like I th- I think this music what you are discussing now is at the very center of my heart. It's on the, it's on my plate. Because now, my, of course, being in the praise and worship, of course, my playlist is all, you know, uh, uh, gospel. But I really struggled with secular music a lot, considering I was in the world. And my my inclination is more into music. So for me, music, I only need, like, if I hear a new song today, I will listen to it tomorrow. On the third day, I'll be singing along, word for word. That's just how... Um, I am inclined to music. So you can only imagine how long it took me to actually put secular music down because I knew every song. Alafu enzi zetu ilikuwa enzi ya kina Mario 
Andy Zakina. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I connect between the I'm a millennial so I'm between the music today and the music then so I'm also I was also a 90s kid you know I I had I knew like classic FM was was it for me so I, I it really took a long time it took a lot of prayer and a lot of crying to tell God get these things off me because I Eh man ze eh ni listrago man ze ni listrago sana 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 and um i i think um at this point i'm able to tell people that it is possible to be born again and to not even listen to, to secular music like today i can enter a mart that has a lot of boom boom twaf and shut my mind from listening to that music and i'll be fine but before it was a struggle you said boom boom what <laughs> boom boom twaf okay <laughs> Nisi le matatu ziko na kelele. Ni unasikia ukiwaenda unasikia mpaka palpite palpite unasikia pamputation. This was. Wow. But I wanted to ask you before I ask Mushiri and Jerry how then did you yes you overcome but what happens when you go to make a wedding in every other place places where you don't have control except matatu places where you don't have no control whatever is going to be played. Amaru atas ni siende harusi cousins gathering. December na jeu taitwa cousins gathering you don't have control what do you do in such instances i think uh, again uh, <laughs> i think uh, not i think i have bring, brought it to my awareness that i can be in that kind of space so what do i do when i'm in that kind of space number one, i've taught my mind to shut like this like baka ikifika it it gets to a point where if i enter into that kind of space automatically even before i i am aware of what is going on it i realize but then just just sijawimba zile mbo zikimbo and let me tell you with the spaces that i mean the people who are at that point especially by cousins they are also 90s kids so what it is zile ngoma i knew word for word but by the grace honestly and i'll say this with a lot of humility it takes the grace of god i wouldn't even lie I won't tell you that I did this. No, no, no. It it really took God. Yes. Jerry, now that you're holding the microphone. Me acheni ni jianike. For me it it is a struggle because with the kind of work that I do, I hi, let me just make this a yes. shameless plug. Please ben, go I ahead so I can take the <laughs> wow. I can take it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyway, so um I make wedding cakes as my job so I'm a baker. So I attend weddings a lot. Now chini niwaambie mugithi kifika as long as cake iko juu ya meza mimi nitachapa mugithi. But now it gets to a point and I feel like I am such a bad child to God. Cause niko hapo to feel reader niko hapo kwa feel reader na mkinifuata kuna tu niko hivi but i feel like i just feel like i'm becoming very hypocritical with everything you know so i'm at a space where sijui niende job ama hata nikienda job sijui niko se kuimba mugithi ama nikajihiche iishe kwanza and then i come back so that i don't feel like i have contaminated my you know my for real because it feels like because because i nitakuwa nime dance and i'm happy and i'm jovial and then when i get to my my quiet time and my worship time mm-hmm. i'll be listening to the music but bado nakumbuka unaona ile meme inakuwa around yeah you're here you're doing your exams but unakumbuka so flani unisikia kwa mat that is so me during my quiet time and it has been a struggle and i i i'm just like okay so what do we do now do we me sasa sijafika hapo kwa shila kwa shutting off if i hear i sing so for me it it actually is a struggle because i'm i don't think it's supposed to be like i don't think it's a good thing for me to have qt quiet time and songs that are not pushing me to his presence popping up in my mind and Yes I know I can I can quiet it but it's 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 not just a it's you know it's not a out. snap kind of thing and you just quiet it and move on with your life mm. so me at all say dizzy me at we are not discussing is I just need help Nico I see you at this point amen Mushiri Yeah please surrender me me think music yangu me move in stages 
Joan. As, as in. <laughs> Me, 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 eighties kids. Wait, yeah, eighteen. So, my, 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 nini ilianza na? Yangu ilianza na hip hop. I used to be a very big Tupac fan. Yani hip hop, hip hop, Tupac. Where is your bandana? P-I-G, Where is your bandana? Lost Boys and uh, yeah, all that. Yeah, hip hop. I, I used to love hip hop. Yeah. Wow. 90s I think hip hop was 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 a thing. Then when I, when I joined campus, I moved from hip hop to rock. Say what now? Hip hop not rock. So okay. I said le soft rock so I'll be Coldplay, Daughtry. Yeah, groups and Stain. Then now it became yani hard rock yani so Metallica, you have guys like Marilyn Manson and all these guys. Yeah, there are a lot of people. So, me young and I Yeah, then now currently it's when you now things started moving away from, from that. Yeah. Wow. But me young and hip hop. So, where switch said are you reading right now? Ah, me, me, right now is this gospel, like, go, gospel. Like your entire playlist, your YouTube playlist, your all your playlists. I think you just hit a bottom na yon in You just stretch it to the maximum. Then you're just like, hey, do, chills. Me? Me, now, as for me personally, I think I'm going to have a I'm going to have a It's a struggle. Comrade. Comrade, how are you? And where are you guys? We just unite. So for me, <laughs> during the week, I am okay. Very. Until I go to a wedding. <laughs> and my justification has been, which now I guess I'm going say, Dear Jumina, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to so now I struggle like during the week, but they mean because even there's a time in my playlist. I, th- I think after high school is when I struggled. High school is when I struggled because you know, I came from a PK household. Yeah. I kind of never used to really listen to music because where which channel? Why? After school, I took on TV. So where are you? You are listening from? What is your influence? High school, kuna television, kuna was channel, kuna the beat. Think you know a new whole new world. I'm like, what is this? I love the initial and their gazette in a lyric. So come on, who you know? So after high school, when I got home and I was alone without like, my, my brothers were in school and everything, I, now I told myself, let me see if I cannot not listen. And when I practiced not listening to secular, I would never even watch the beat. Now you desire to end up, son, Kakuja, Kakuja, Nairobi. Chapter Mopia. Hey, this Nairobi, I'm telling you, the transition was difficult. So that's when you start, people are like, you now I meet even other PKs, are like, gosh, see the PKs, and see who. Oh. So ni kaingia ni kokapi kids on gina nafanya me start strike you on a thunder. So PKs is pastors, oh, pastors kids. kids. Oh. Pastors see, kids. See, chewing not gum. the not chewing gum. Mm. Na kitambo ilikuwa inaitwa Riglis. Yeah, pastors kids. So if they are listening and who's the mai? And they have not died <laughs> to kaanza hivyo. Then you know, it starts with one song, two yeah. songs, then your whole playlist and then even me I'm like you when I listen to a song like twice or thrice. Yeah. In the system, so now I struggled. Then I stopped struggling. Then again, now this this is the weddings. I keep wedding, wedding DJ Cedric. They come on up here special training. They just take you there. I me I didn't even know what was my piano until I went to a wedding the other day. I was like, oh, do you hear? Then I said, no. I'm a piano. I'm a piano. Oh, oh. Yeah, that is what it is being called. So Nico, how come I go spell you? <laughs> and you're like, it's not so bad, it's wedding, it's love. But then I realize it's easy to tell yourself that until now you start making a reference. To, okay, now why I struggle is because whenever, I, like we were saying, another episode, whenever I still I feel low, I'm like, that's kiss a worship. But I'm like, okay, I'm like, 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 I feel better. But you see that better is also temporary because it has not changed me. But I will argue, music but today i'm here to to confess i am struggling as well so now for people like me and jerry how can we how did you guys form that habit of is it now constantly praying and also now deciding that you will delete did you delete music did you delete albums did you 
Make a VCD. Notebooks. Yeah. So how did you then? What's the what what needs can I take? Actual literal steps. Pair microphone. You see, like now, like the way we are saying with Jerry, we we'll only struggle maybe during the wedding, and then sometimes you'll hear a song. Pack on the DJ. Ina ito aje unenda una save. Ala from truki mamba places in complete list yangu. Haiko nini? You saki ni chaise kwa watu wakanisa. Sina songs, but ni vile songs ziko hapa posta kimjue. Which I think a lot of people right now is something they are really struggling with. Weddings and parties. Okay, let me say this. Mm. For me, the biggest desire was to have a sound mind. As in that, that, yeah, any that, that, that has been motivation. As in, I don't want to have a tormented mind. As in, uh, I used to listen to rock, and I've said, really hard metal, you know. And there's a way, let's say you're on a scale of one to ten, let's say you're sad on a three. This, the, 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 the rock songs I'll listen to, it pushes that sadness to a nine. As it, you, you feel that, you, you feel sadder. You, you feel, you know, if, if, if you're angry and you're bitter, it's like it aggravates your 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 emotions yeah let me put it this way it aggravates more of your negative emotions than any positive ones and so at that point is when you you realize you got to change your content because here is the thing you see the bible says perfect love cast out fear for fear has torment let me show you an example of you got tormented with <laughs> a tormented mind ulingi a bed 10 p.m. No fa kwenda job kesho, sio ndio? You wake up at 6 a.m. You're more tired than when you when you went to bed. Any you you're physically tired. This is how your dreams look like. Ulingia bed 10. First dream, kuna kimbishwa. Kwa fam ya mahindi. Umekimia umekimia umekimia, ukaanguka kwa shimo. Then you wake up, you're tired. You know, you're freaked out. You go back to sleep. You're falling from the sky. You fall, you fall, you fall, you fall. Unaunka kwa cemetery. Any guys guys are dreaming of walking drive planes ona anguka from the sky. You sleep, you wake up. And you're like the next dream umeamka katikati ya Indian Ocean. Umejaza seaweed kwa kwa mdomo. When a mermaid. What on what on? Guys are dreaming of working on Maldives. Who made your seaweed? Yeah. Then you wake up, you go to work. It's you go there at eight. It's that you are asleep. You're dozing. As in, should you not question your life and say there's something wrong with it? As in, why should you be going to bed? Any sleep should refresh you and give you peace. Why should you wake up? more tired than when you went to sleep mbona mbona uamke ni kama umeshindwa kinini ukibeba simiti the whole the, the whole night na mattress iko sawa na mattress iko mattress, sawa. mattress. <laughs> yeah yeah should you not question and you say i really want a healthy mind but i think people really do not think that you see you kuchoka kuota vitu very queer your tiredness and if you went for a health check you're perfectly healthy there's nothing wrong with you but why should you be constantly tired any if i asked you your emotions at any point tired confused i don't know what i'm doing and why should it, your mind state of mind be that way i think you should question there's a scripture that says arise o sleeper I let Christ shine. Any God is saying, amuka angalia environment yako. Juulize swali. Why should you be sleeping and you wake up as tired as when you went to bed? So my my I, I just wanted to say something. I don't think that most people actually realize that this waking up tired and being fatigued and being in a bad mood and being on the edge i don't think people think about it as it's because of the things that are around me they just have this notion of ni life adulting 
nani aliniambia ni kwa mtu mzima you know and they will just put labels on things and to be honest now that mushiri said it i'm like now that i'm thinking about it actually it's about the things that you listen to who you have been with your environment and the things that have been around you so that is very profound mushiri come on now what if you're washing please call your kamkutano and ask yourself what is making you tired what are you dreaming about and why are you in the mood that you're in because most of the time as mushiri said it's about something you're doing and something that is in your environment so yeah and also think that uh, for me what what the questions i was asking myself at the time was who are these people and what is their foundation for instance if you're talking about a love i know we really love love songs <laughs> da my pains me, were was with that my pains <laughs> <laughs> but what is the foundation of this person who's singing this love song? Yeah. You understand? You see, as believers, we've been given the foundation of love as 1 Corinthians 14. This person is singing about love from a place of brokenness. Mm. So what happens is that your influence, mm-hmm. Akonondo, me, there's a lady, I don't know if she still sings today, she's called Adele. Nilikuwa nasikiza Adele na kuwa depressed. Sister. Sister. Bado yuko? sister bado ana imbanga hizo imbo and if if you listen i am wait i'm not even attacking her or anything but i'm just saying because if you listen to her story she was like i was heartbroken i was da 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 i was da 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 so because i'm listening to her music and i'm loving her music and i'm playing it on repeat what influence am i picking from that heartbreak and depression so nikitoka hapo as he said ulikuwa 3 unatokiwa 9 So you understand that the foundation of this person is not the word of God. The word of God is to edify us. Is it edifying you? Secondly, if you find yourself hiding things, it means it's not right for you. I think sasa nikikutisha hiyo simu yako abutu cheze nini hapa ngoma. You can't Exactly. If that is your reflex. Mbaka umefungwa folder nyingine yani gospel secular R&B CG nani and I realized me I really struggled with that because my foundation was not the word of God. My foundation was the things of the world. So world ilikuwa ime ime form another world in me to understand that love looks like this. And imagine for me in my own life is that because of these songs my love life was shaped from that, from that yes. so i ended up being in a lot of toxic relationship a lot of dysfunction because my foundation was wrong yes they're speaking about love oh, you make when i see you you make my heart go blah, 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 blah. but guess what you have never experienced the true love until you've experienced christ So even this love that they are giving you is partial because after after three years we shall break up no chali yake atakuja kuambia a different story altogether how much it hurts yes you know it hurts <laughs> because i tell you what i'm scared of it ah all the toxicity i have gone through over the years in akuta so it makes sense you're just like i can relate i can you relate know, i can, I can relate. relate you, you know when the lyrics make sense yeah. me, at, and <laughs> and they realized for me music was huge and is still huge to a point if today if i listen to a worship song by maverick or whoever i go down on my knees and i start experiencing god how much more that secular song that you're listening to how much power does it have so it is making a decision and saying you know what i am a child of god and this is the direction i've decided i'm going to take i am going to forsake all these others but i do understand that i cannot do it on my own holy spirit help me creating me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me put the right spirit in me because the spirit i am after in these songs they are not the right spirit that's why i'm struggling yes the spirit be behind it because i am struggling with this with whatever it is i am you know when i was going for therapy one thing that came out so clearly is that i my world was formed by what i listened to and three quarter of my playlist was secular and i realized i was an r&b person because love for me was formed in a particular notion you understand so because that is how love was i used to get involved with a guy who is toxic who is a narcissist and, and over time normal. i picked these things so i became this person there's a duplicate of this person so i ended up hurting other people because of what i was formed by the music i was listening to so as they ask is it bad yes it is bad yes it is a sin in fact it is not for you as a child of god so long as you say i am born again and you have the spirit of god in you it is not right it does not matter if you're listening to it in a wedding if 
listen, even if you're born again and you're gonna get married, insist that your playlist should not even have a single uh, 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 secular, secular song. song. You know why? Because when you attend a, uh, a wedding, a wedding is the one place where both uh, uh, non-believers, atheists and believers meet. So it is the one place you have to evangelize. Yes, I will not stand and evangelize, but the songs that are being played, the same way you listen to a song <laughs> that is being played, <laughs> it's by your song, by the way, Nani Sekila. The same thing, they will listen to a song that talks about Christ and they will want to find out what is this song about this song, and they will listen to it. I was watching a, a review that was being done for um, a Reckless Love of God by a guy who's an atheist. And that guy was, he broke down. He was like, I have never had such songs. And and the comments were over a thousand comments. And guys were like, we are praying for you. And he was like, I, I don't know what this, what, and I think it tumbled last week. I don't know what it is I'm, I'm, I'm feeling. And guys in the comment section were saying, that is the Holy Spirit. He's beginning to convict you. And this guy was like, I don't know what this song is. And he, he broke down. And he's a tough guy. You know those atheists, Pale Katikati Anna. In fact, he was listening to that song to criticize it. He didn't criticize it. Eventually, he gave his life to Christ last week. And he's been doing that for the last three years. But he said the reckless love of God. Because number one, he didn't understand what this recklessness is all about. He thought in the recklessness your world. But eventually, he, as he continued to hear the word, and you see this guy who has sang this song, he talks about John, I think John 14, the reckless love of God, where he leaves, no, it's Matthew, where he leaves the 99 and goes for this. That guy did not understand that concept. Of how could you leave 99 and go look for that one? Kony, what is important about that one? And then as it continued, he understood that he was that one. You understand? So that is how much power, if that is the kind of power worship song has. How much more secular? So is it bad to listen to secular music? Yes. As a believer, yes. Why? Because it forms your world. It informs you. It influences you. Is it a sin? Absolutely. Can it be corrected? Yes. How? You make a decision that to, from this day henceforth, I'm not going to be listening to this music. I do not want my world to be influenced. It does not matter if it's love, if it's inspiration. We have the, Holy, uh, the word of God who inspires us through the Holy Spirit. He will do that job. It doesn't matter if you're discouraged, listen to worship music. And we have, I think we have really um, brought this thing out where we say, hey, man, you can see it, you can see it, you can see it, you can see it, you that is the kind of power there is. Because the word of God convicts us. It's active, it's alive, and it's a sword. Yeah. What? I think, because, okay, I, I was laughing before. Even our own weddings. Na sasa mimi, mna mamuaka wa 2015, ndisha patanga my teacher for the wedding ki. And you can't touch a fool when the time comes. So, DJ Nani, it will be to review your playlist, Drew. Mambo di kama haya. And I, okay, this is why I'm reacting like this is because earlier this week or last week, there's a group of uh, usually do ministry together, the cultures and generation. Hey guys. So, we had this discussion, and me, I was like, but guys, see, personal. I was so until one, someone said this, and I was like, ah, like, I'm not saying I'm not I'm sure you are Rusi. Of course, it went on and on and on until one person even gave us a scripture. So they were like, let's stop up looking at it as secular and everything. Let's go back to the word. Of course, when someone says go back to the word, Nicole, you know what the word will say. So she was referring to Philippians 4 8 and, and 9, and allow me to read. Finally, brothers or brethren, depending on your version, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or, or seen in me, put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. And I think this verse is like everything Sheila has said, but now it makes sense, but I don't know. <laughs> For me, my playlist could have many effects, but it shouldn't may change. But it's true because now she was telling us, I can't do the script. But then she was like, That song that you listen to, let's just check whatever song it is. Is it? And then, at a, at a no, I can't do it. To watch it too. But then again, it explains what all of you have said because there are times I think we'll go through things and Kumba is the things we listen and I think the power of music is it doesn't have to affect you that time you can dance to the lyrics then when you go home your brain is processing the words we find ourselves even quoting now the lyrics we are in a situation like no let's quote Nani 
msani fulani and you're like but si la limba hiyo song una 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 vile ni but then again is a toxicity in that because again their reference has not been here because they are different because i mean they are christians who sang love songs but we also say hazishikangi sisi ni hao ni mapenzi lakini hajasema vitu because we want to be told things that we are aspiring or desiring so well, you really yeah thank you for that yes jerry and i also think that now that i'm thinking about what sheila said mm. it goes back to the secular and gospel music gospel music alters zake ni based on the word of god but secular music the altar that has been built when that song was being written are madhavanius let's call them madhavanius because i honestly do not know so that's why they tend and and you find pasi was saying sometime that the altar that you have been established in will live through your life like it's like a well and you draw the water from it and you use that water to like influence your life so i think then that's why it is very cultivating and unapata people are being influenced and they're being changed like their lives are being changed because of the kind of music they're listening to because the well or the altar that was was what was put you nearly ile establish you and your song and it was in a in a way influence for the less una pata the love life is chaotic their money whatever is chaotic you know like it's just it's just like it just influences your life because it's an altar that has been built that you actually did not know of and that's why with then with worship music it's more calming and just nice like it's just a like a breath of fresh air that's what they say yes that's what they say because the altar that was built was an altar of god an altar of tranquility an altar of peace you know so i actually think it's also more of an altar thing than we actually think nikitu ya juju one last thing also um even as we wrap up you see when um when you sing the word of god even my nasiu the word of god will still prevail you understand so in secular if you sing whatever you're singing if you stop singing leave you that's why we have one hit wonders you understand but the word of god will still continue even so we still sing angela chibalonza's sing, songs to date and yeah. they're still and you know I, i know people still sing to pack songs but are they as impactful as you know so it's it's just having that consciousness and that awareness and also it takes you off hypocrisy and just being in between because the moment you start dealing with those strongholds now you begin to walk in that direction so as we we can conclude mushiri i'd love for you to conclude and even pray over because i think it's a struggle that is beyond what we think it's just music we don't think about the influence and even for the folk maybe who stopped like all those things they have not been able to what is it called has it a talker because they've really changed but the torment the influence the desire to feel like they want to go back it's rampant so and then the, remembering also we can't do this by our own i can't say i quit listening because i'm i'm so good at boundaries and everything like the holy spirit needs to also work in them so you'll say our last words and then you'll pray for our audience mm, let me let me let me help someone <laughs> what do you make an idol of when the bubble bursts you're going to demonize it if you make an idol of a person let's say romantically once the bubble of perfection bursts you're going to demonize that person do you know that too fresh too soon yeah as in the downside of that and i'll give you a good example amon and tama as in whatever you make an idol of and you worship it and you create a perfection kind of a thing in your mind once that perfection bursts you're going to demonize that thing you had made an idol of two i, I think we 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 become a society that is desensitized to the demonic realm as in we over consumption of curated new uh, content it makes us think darkness is not dark yes yeah, not that dark and 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 we we, we we even have cartoons where we have good demons and bad demons 
bad angels, bad in, you know, there's that desensitization that we think this thing, uh, you know, maybe they can be good, maybe they can be merciful. And at times we find ourselves into, like I told you, like now someone who's opened a door and you really have tormented dreams. No, you instead of finding deliverance through the light of the gospel, you'll find a friend who will come and tell you, you know what, what's happening in your life is your energies are mixed up. Let me let me let me connect you to Amen. crystals. Let me give you crystals so that you can balance your energy. You are not realizing it's like a fire. Somewhere there's a fire. Alafu we will not put out that fire na mtungia nini ya kerosene. Yeah, cuz cuz you you're driving darkness with darkness. You're using one demonic influence to remove another one. So you get <laughs> but in actual sense you're welcoming the other yeah, welcome to join the other. the other one that but, was but already there. <laughs> so, 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 so someone is just telling you uh, you see the reason you're not having good dreams is your energy your energy is unbalanced. So you need a crystal to balance the energies. The yin and yang they are the opposite and they are the yang yangs of yang yang and yang yang, yang and the yin uh, and they are confused <laughs> and, and you need to balance them. No no all of a sudden you're using one form of darkness to drive another form of darkness and it's still darkness and so your state just becomes worse worse off and worse off the bible says this do not give the devil a foothold do you know what a foothold is it's a secure position from which further progress can be made you just get that interpretation a foothold is a secure position from which further progress can be made at the height of a foothold it becomes a stronghold and from there on you operate in such a way yo kitu iko you cannot even drive it out nile umerichile stage ya ukienda job ya cha kikombia chai sitting room unaikuta iko kitchen uwili ulifika kitchen aje yeah so si hapo sasa ndio unaita pasi akuje deliverance but then but then this thing was progressive it was not ev it's a foothold that became a stronghold and finally you could not let me say this first second second timothy 1:7 says god has not given us a spirit of fear but a spirit of power of love and of a sound mind you having a sound mind is an inheritance of every child of god Isaiah 26:3 says you'll keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Jesus says my peace I give you not as the world gives. So you having a healthy and by a healthy mind I'm saying it's not the absence of difficulties but there's a peace like thing to eat. You, you don't need to from Monday to Sunday you're doing marathons in your sleep. Come and we can join stand chat marathon. Wacha kimbia kwa usiku. Una kimbia unaangua kwa mtaro. Yani uliamka siju wapi? Yani you should you should honestly. Yeah, so a healthy a healthy mind should be should be something you desire and and if there is torment because it says fear torments and demons love torment it's it's that's their playing field it's torment a yeah but before we pray maybe somebody is asking so how do i get out of it how what, what how do i get there where i'm able to not even you know block out um uh I'm able to block out secular music I, I want to give an exercise that I want it to be very practical and I would like you to try it I want you today uh starting today this night between now and Sunday don't listen to a single secular song if you have it in your phone delete it then an hour before you go to bed just play worship songs between now and Sunday 
just play worship songs. If atakama it's one song, whether Maverick or whatever, and play that song an hour before you go to sleep. Then immediately you go and sleep. Between today and Sunday. Then on Sunday, when Pastor George tells us to pray, start praying. Then tell us if there's going to be a difference. Then may I have another one? Because now we are getting to the tip section. So maybe there's someone who actually does not have a playlist that is gospel. Like, at a YouTube yako, ukiguzaivi songs that you have played. Number one, you know the number one. You know it? Yes. So maybe we can, you can just start with checking things like gospel mixes. You know, there are DJs out here who make mixes for us and you listen to them and then... So just to refresh the history of your... Of your... Safari, the Google. Yeah. The history of your Google. Uh, you can try just a generic word. Just try gospel songs, gospel music, and then you don't have to like listen to it kama tikani, like a two-hour thing. You like listen to the whole of it. Just try pole, 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 pole. That way, your history will also refresh itself. Itakuletia, like songs that are always, like a gospel. So, utajipata pole, pole, you started like taking a turn into the kind of music that you listen to. So she said me ati aki hiyo hiyo siku anataka kusikia. Me I left my song there, my phone there playing songs on YouTube and then that one came. No, oh, let's just cut it off. We can do this. Algorithms are not our strongholds. Amen. 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 So Mashiri just lead us in prayer as we come to a conclusion. But even before we pray, we just want to remind you to keep reading the word of God for in it has the answers of all the issues of life. Every question you have, it can always be found here. So may the Holy Spirit continue guiding you and leading you even to better because every day we are growing and we are learning and that's how we become better soldiers of the army of the Lord. So Mushiri, we pray for us and, us and conclude. So we just want to remind you that City Lighters Church has their Sunday service at Nairobi Cinema and our services always start at 10 a.m. But also if you have any other question, you can comment below or DM us on any of our accounts. The name is City Lighters across, hey, across all social media platforms. To go ahead TikTok, so follow us there as well. So Mushiri, we conclude. And then from us, it's goodbye. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we... First of all, come in, repent in repentance before your presence. For any door that we have allowed into our lives, Almighty Father. For any person who is listening to us, Almighty Father, who's given the enemy a foothold, Almighty Father. And the enemy has come into their lives and they have caused havoc in their minds, Almighty Father. If there's someone who is listening to us and they feel that they have a tormented mind, Almighty Father, I'm praying for a deliverance this afternoon, Almighty Father. I'm praying, O oh God, that the Spirit of the living God, you may deliver that person, Almighty Father. May they know, O oh God, that you have given us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind, Almighty Father. And you declare in the book of Isaiah 26, 3, that you shall keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon you, Almighty Father. I'm praying, O oh Mighty Father, for someone who is listening to us, O oh God, whose mind has been troubled, Almighty Father, over the years and over the years, Almighty Father. And instead of they find in the light of the gospel, Almighty Father, they have tried to medicate it through drugs. They have tried to medicate it through opening portals of cultism, Almighty Father. And they have brought demonic influence into their lives, Almighty Father. I'm praying, O oh God, for a deliverance in their lives, Almighty Father. May you point them to the light of the gospel, Almighty Father. For where there is light, Almighty Father, it will shine and it will drive away the darkness, Almighty Father. Oh Jesus, you said, O oh God, that how can you plunder a strong man unless you bind him, Almighty Father? But we know, O oh Jesus, that you defeated the enemy at the cross, Almighty Father. For you declare in your word that you led captive captivity. You led captivity captive, Almighty Father. And so for anyone who is listening to us, Almighty Father, whose dreams have been nightmares, Almighty Father, who wake up tired, confused, and they do not know what to do, Almighty Father, I'm praying for a deliverance. Through the mighty name of Jesus, O mighty Father, I'm speaking the power in the blood of Jesus that it may cover them tonight as they go to sleep, O mighty Father. May they come with a testimony, O mighty Father, that after listening to this episode, O mighty Father, they enjoyed a peaceful night, O mighty Father. For a peaceful night is our portion, O mighty Father. I'm speaking shalom, the peace of Jesus upon anyone who's listening to us, and may they find light in your word, O God. We praise you and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. God bless you guys.